Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. This is a quick how-to. And a lot of people, they look at this stuff and they say, Oh, this must be expensive. I can't remember the name of the company, but I will have the link down below. These are pretty thin and it makes it easy to work with and it makes them not so heavy. But these are the Mother of Pearl shells that I got to do this with. All right, so you see how beautiful. All right, now get back to the brass tacks here. This is what I want you to see. If you want to do this yourself, which is what I did on a very low budget, turn them upside down, put a little plastic underneath. That's what all this is about. Okay. And I'm just going to do one shell so you can see. Instead of going into 50 something or 60, 70 dollars worth of expense on a bunch of equipment, do this. Squeeze a bead. That's about all you need on each tile. That's it, you guys. On each tile, do you hear me? You can hold it, you can blow on it. See, that's it. That's all you need. So I beaded each tile just like that. Bead, 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 bead. I just squeezed one on every tile. Okay? Until the whole foot was done. When I got through, I picked it up. Of course, it was backwards, so I picked it up. And then I walked over to the wall. And I pressed, I found a spot and I pressed it in. Now the spot. Okay, I'm going to find the spot now so you can see what I mean. Okay, follow me here. Alright, now. I'm going to, let's see. Yeah, there's a good spot right there. Okay, see what I'm doing here? Find the spot. Stick it in, shimmy it a little bit, and you have got a tile in place that will never come down on you. See that? That will never come down. That is there for good. Now, the good thing to do is wait a second for it. I'm taking it off now because I don't really want it there. A good thing to do is wait a second. There you go. I wiped it off. Wait a second for it to dry. Now this right here, I put up as one clean sheet. One clean sheet. This one, I counted. One, two, three, four, five. I counted in from the side, counted in from the other side and from the top. And I just needed to cut out two. So I cut out two rows, four. And then I held it up to make sure the opening was good. I had taken this off. Just unscrew it, no big deal. And I held it up, I glued each piece, and then I held it up and started pressing it in. Once I pressed it in, this was still open. While it was holding its thing in place, because see, when you're doing each hole like that, each mother of pearl, the, the glue has a chance to get a little tackier. So it's not runny. I wouldn't put it up while it was soaking wet. I would give it about two or three minutes before I put it up. But since it takes that long to do the whole tile, the whole tile mesh, it's pretty much ready. So you hold it up, press it in place. And then when you get it right where you want it, all lined up with the rest of them, then you take the screwdriver, put this on, and lock it on before it can start sh shifting on you. And then you just monitor it for a few minutes until you're pretty sure it's not going to go anywhere. Then you go to the next one. And that, dear hearts, is your 101 on how to lay mother of pearl mesh. And the company... I think these are great quality. 
Even though there was one person that complained that they were very thin, they're strong. I put one on the ground and I put all of me on top of it and not one of those things cracked on me. So this would work as a floor tile as well. Those are the times I wish I was rich because my bathroom floor baby would be all mother of pearl.